Hey everybody, welcome to the AFR pre-pre-release bonus rounds here. The players enjoyed their decks so much, uh, they wanted to play them even more and yeah. fight different people than they fought during the pre-pre-release. Uh, so, this is Graham and Surge. Uh, now you two have uh, rolled dice and yes. uh, done your mulligans and drawn your cards. I rolled a natural yep. one. Do I like lose a turn because it's D and D? What what happens with my crit fail here? Yeah, you... yeah, I got a free time walk. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't make the rules. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, I'm on the play, case, and we. Bu I believe you did make that rule, but yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, maybe. Anyway, yeah, I'm on the play, and I believe we both kept what we said are uh, are very medium, maybe sevens. not amazing, but <laughs> playable sevens. Yeah, as long as they're it, equally it, medium, that's fine. Yeah. I have lands I and we'll spells, but the distribution of which is not ideal. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to play a forest and pass it over to you, and we'll we'll get away to the races. Mm, I'm going to play a forest and pass it to you and get away with the races. All right. Good. I'm glad we're on the same page here. <laughs> uh, here's a swamp. and At this rate, you're going to lose, you. Serge. Oh, no. He's going to kill you. It seems very rude. Swamp, or with the forest. Well, well I'm going to play the this same thing. Uh oh, very fancy oh. evolving wilds. Ooh. Yeah. And uh, say go. All right. Cool. Cool. Good draws. Great. Awesome. Uh, three mana for a map. Helps mm. to have a dungeon map. Uh, I'll crack at response or end of turn, however we want to communicate that. And go get for myself it. an white source. Ah, I see your three drop allows you to do dungeon shenanigans. Very good. Yes, I can venture uh, anytime I want, but only as a sorcery. By anytime I want, I mean like I can venture. It's 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 repeatable venture. Obviously, mm. timing restrictions still apply. So All right. anytime that I want that is possible by the words on the card. I, I would also like to do some dungeon shenanigans on turn three. And I'm going Wait, to play no. Nadar, the selfless paladin. So it's a 3-3 three, three with Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, I may venture into the dungeon. But what's and, um, scarier? Which dungeon? I'm going to be pretty optimistic here, and I'm going to go for the Dungeon of the Mad Lad, uh, mm. which is probably my favorite. Nice. Now, All I right. did have That's a good. turtle figurine here that I used to mark my progress. Yes. So I'm going to gain one life and go up to 21. Oh, yes, the door sound. Thank you, Paul. Into the yawning it sounded portal. Like, it sounded like double doors. I heard two. <laughs> Maybe a little I heard there. Two yeah. door sound effects overlaid. Um, do we have someone on life counters? I was going to do my own. Right. I can Info do yours too if you want, <laughs> Serge. There no. you go. Oh, 21. Never. Have a life. Go for it. <laughs> you know what? Thank you. That's very kind of you. And <laughs> I'm gonna You're pass very here. welcome. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, I mean, Dungeon of the Mad Mage is good if you think that you're going to be able to, you know, like, clear all the way through it. Oh, are you going to kill my it... paladin? No, I was going to say, <laughs> I don't have, I certainly don't have removal spell. I was very lucky, honestly, in that I drew a blocker, and we'll see if it even lives. But I'm going to mm. draw, I'm going to play this owl bear. Oh, that's a good uh, blocker. It's a good blocker. It, it was a lucky top deck, I'm not going to lie. Uh, anyway, it has keen senses, so I'm going to draw a card. Mm -hmm. And uh, pass it on back. All right, untap, untap, draw for the turn. I love Owlbear. Something, what's half, bird bear. halfway between a hoot and a growl? Hmm. I want to do it's this. It's like, it's, I imagine it's like a, there's like a low, uh, there's like a low utterance that precedes, it's like a, right? It like starts with like, the bear working up to a growl, mm. but then when it opens its beak, it's just mm. like. I, I feel like the answer to that question is why the owl bear was made. Like a, a mad wizard was like, "What does an owl and a bear sound like?" <laughs> I wonder what would happen if we made both those noises at once. Oh, I know. I'll just create some horrible beast. All right. I like the, I mean, the flavor text it even says, many people believe a misguided wizard created the first owl bear, oh. but others insist these creatures have always dwelled in the Feywild. So who can say? Forest. Mm. Wandering Troubadour is oh, a yeah. four mana, four, two, a dragon bard. 
And at the beginning of your end step, you got to land, enter the battlefield, and you control this turn. You may venture into the dungeon. I would like mm. to pass my turn and venture into the dungeon, moving down a level and scrying one. And moving that card to the bottom of my deck. Did you... Did you do as... Like... This is this seems like ideal dungeon venturing. Did you get to Pass. like do quite this much venturing at the PPR? Yes. I did a lot of dungeon shenanigans. Yeah. All right. I don't think adventurers like it being called dungeon shenanigans. That kind of cheapens the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Paul. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, all right, I'm going to play, I'm going to pay, rather, six mana to cast a green dragon. Oh, now, it has poison breath, but you'll be happy to know it's not really going to do anything mm. here, I don't think. That's fair. I mean, potentially. No, because it, well. I will gladly trade with my true, my, yeah, Albear for Troubadour. Wait, maybe not. Maybe I get value out of this. Yeah, I don't know, actually. That's why I'm like, I don't know what you would do. Um, because it's it, it would die anyway, right? That's the thing. Like the green dragon's effect doesn't mm -hmm. actually, because it okay. What it says, I should read it out loud. Uh, when green dragon enters the battlefield until end of turn, whenever a creature an opponent controls is dealt damage, destroy it. Pro tip: you have to play this pre-combat if you want that to work. Correct. It's not like a ha get you kind of thing. Like after after combat. Um, I mean, the dragon still blocks Nadar, so yeah, you know what? I will attack. Let's see if you will trade the Troubadour for Albert. I'm curious now. I too am curious. Uh, turns out I won't. <laughs> All right, fair <laughs> enough. I mean, it's repeatable. It's 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 more repeatable venture. So yeah, yeah that makes a lot of sense. I'll just take four here uh, and go to seventeen. Yeah, I can do that. Thank you. Do 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 do. All right. Uh, go ahead. All right. Untap. Untap. Draw for the turn. <clears throat> Land. So Troubadour is mm -hmm. online. Troubadour yeah. online. I drew this um, Hunter's Mark. Oh, so, dang. All Hunter's right. Mark is a four mana instant uh, that says ignore the first two lines of text because they don't matter. Target creature you control gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Then... It deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker. You don't control. Uh, Nadar is going to become a 4-4 and then punch your dragon. Yeah. Um, Oof. Okay. Then I'm going to attack. And then when I attack, For Nadar ventures into the dungeon. And I'm going to say uh, that your owlbear, go to the Twisted Caverns, your owlbear may not attack next turn. All right. And then I'm going to hit you for 8. Yes, you'll and, note I have already taken eight mm, damage. <laughs> and then I'm going to pass to my end step, a land entered play. Right. Wandering Troubadour is going to say, back to the dungeon! And oh I'm going to go goodness. one more level lower, down to the lost level, where I'm going to scry twice. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. Uh, I'm going to bottom both. All right, wow. And I'm going to say, go ahead. And I'm realizing if I had picked the... Uh, Tomb of Annihilation, I would have already completed it, had a 4-4, four, four, and got the bonus from the Dara. So maybe I made the wrong choice? I don't know. It's I didn't expect there to be that much decision-making behind which dungeon you picked. It's uh, it's kind of cool. If, that's like a sign in the Tomb of Annihilation, being like, if you had chosen this dungeon, you'd be home by now. <laughs> I think... Or dead. If you're aggressive. Yeah, I think if you're aggressive, um, then... Uh, the tomb of annihilation can work. I think it. I think. I think you have to be putting pressure on, mm. uh, which you are. So, all right. I'm going to pay two mana here for fate's reversal mm -hmm. to return a green dragon to my hand and venture into the dungeon. Oh, very nice. And I will choose. Um, I mean, oh, it's probably that one. Honestly, uh, let's see. Um, is it the? I mean, I don't think I'm going to be clearing the uh, the dungeon of the mad mage in time but maybe it does good stuff no you know what I'll just I'll just I'll do the quick one I'll just go into the lost mine of Fandelver mm. uh, to the cave entrance the lost mine that oh, yes, gets a scrying. surprisingly large amount of traffic 
It does. There's like uh, maps to the lost mine. I don't know. It seems a little suspicious. Yeah, how lost could on. it be? Should it be the found mine of Fandelver. Yeah. All right, I'll leave that on top. Uh, and then I'm also going to pay three and play this Wanti Fang Blade. Very nice. Uh, it's a 2 2 death touch, and whenever yep. it deals combat damage, venture. Uh, and that is my turn. All right. Untap. 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 Draw for the turn. Fantastic. Uh, land. So Wandering Troubadour is online. Then. What if venture just becomes a keyword? So you can like venture into other stuff. Ooh, that could be fun. I'm going to cast Find the Path on this planes. Oh, Find yeah. the Path is a three yeah. mana aura. Venture into the dungeon. So I'm going to go down into the uh, Runestone Cavern side. Exile the top two cards. Oh. I may play them. Maybe I should have held off on a land, because if I hit a land there, I can't play it now. But we'll see Cards what we hit. Good. Uh, we hit a Veteran Dungeoneer. Oh, my goodness. And then we also hit a Steadfast Paladin. Uh, I will cast both. And continue to venture uh, into the dungeon. Hold up. Wait, How do you I only get to play one? That? You get you, no. You got to pay for them. You don't get to. You don't get to cast them for free. Oh, you that's gotta, fair. You gotta, yeah, you yeah, still yeah, gotta yeah, yeah, Pay yeah. costs. All right. In which yeah. case, uh, steadfast paladin will stay in exile, and I'll pay four. <gasps> I only have three mana because uh -huh. I put the. F I put find the path put on the wrong it on your white. Oh, I oh, no. oh no! 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 <laughs> No. <laughs> Surge is sad. All right. Well, you could play the steadfast paladin. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sequence things slightly different here. I'm gonna cast a prosperous innkeeper. I mean, wait, no, no, I have to do it right then. I have to do it then as part of the resolution. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I've done so many things wrong right now. I thought this is one that let you play it for free. I mean, it's not that you did it wrong. I mean, you didn't know what was yeah. going to be there. No, but the whole yeah. sequence of the turn, if I leave myself up for more mana, because I can, for example, um, attack and then potentially get it for free with all my mana up, like the Venture of the Dungeon. Right. So my sequencing there is sloppy at best. This is terrible news. There's a lot of there's there's a lot of careful sequencing in this set. Or or I mean like mm. sequencing you should be careful of. Yeah. Uh, we'll cast the Paladin. We'll exile the Venturer right. forever. Goodbye, little friend. <laughs> Goodbye. You you go you go into the uh, go into the room, find two guys, and you're like, uh, get in love with you. I can't take both of you with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We found both of you in the dungeon of the Madland, and I can only rescue one of you. Yeah, you're a veteran. You'll be fine. Yeah. And they're like, but I, I mean, they the get sent to exile. No. Yeah. Um, I'll just pass and I'll take the venture trigger off the wandering troubadour. All right. Heading down into the deep mines where I may scry three times. Good lord. Right. I'll so leave the, the one mad wizard on top and bottom two. Mad wizard's lair is the cool is the one where you get to not play the casting cost. Yeah, you get to cast one of them for free. Yeah, which Surge is probably going to get to do next turn, statistically speaking. That is the hope. Uh, all right, I'm going to draw. I did know what that was. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, Longed my microphone. Bum, 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 bum. Da -da, ba, 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 da, ba, ba. I'm. I, I, I would like to attempt to venture. Let's find out. I'm going to attack with this Wanti Fang Blade. I will block with my Paladin. Uh, surprise! That Wanti Fang Blade is actually an elephant. <laughs> I pardon. Uh, wild shape. Choose one until end of turn. Target creature you control has the base power and toughness, becomes that creature type, and gains that ability. Oh, gains trample! All right. Uh, so I choose. I choose three three elephant. So you yeah. gain two life from yep. the life link, but then, uh, but then you also take one from the Fang Blade. And because it connected, you get to venture into the dungeon. Yeah. Oh, so that doesn't um, make it lose its regular stuff. Wait, hold yeah. on. Yeah. What? No, Does no, it, it just gains the touch? ability. Because if it yeah. also kept death touch, oh I right, take you actually two take there. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right. death touch and trample. Right. I forgot about that. Um. Oh wow, I played that. 
hey, I also messed up my sequencing. Hey, right. <laughs> so that's that's cool. Uh, we're gonna go. You know what? We're just gonna we're gonna go to the goblin lair and make a goblin. Hmm, that's fair. Uh, so yeah, I definitely should have played um, Shesra beforehand and forced <laughs> forced Nadar, Nadar to, to block. block. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe I could have held Shesra till next turn. Maybe that was the play. Maybe I'm just <laughs> dropping value all over the floor, just throwing it all away right um, now. Eh. So Shesra yeah. is a f what's her stat line? So, uh, one three, one, so not particularly three. large, uh, a one three, and when it enters the battlefield, target creature blocks this turn if able, and then at the beginning of my end step, if a creature died this turn, I can pay two life, and if I do, draw a card, and uh, I am at 12, but I think I will do that. I am actually going to pay two life to draw a card, and uh, that is my turn. And I, well, there you go. We both had turns that we wish we'd play differently. Yeah, yeah. How do I do this? None of be no nobody on your board has death touch or any shenanigans currently, is that correct? Not currently, no. That's a worrying question. <laughs> One three. A 1-3 frustrates yep. me, Graham. A 1-3 frustrates me for reasons that you will learn. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I certainly don't currently appreciate why a 1-3 would be, would, would be a big deal. Has Nadar done enough? Can I just throw Nadar away? D does Nadar get a vote? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Yeah, Nadar doesn't get much say in this. Because if I attack right now, like... I swing it into the owlbear, but there's also a chance that I rip a totally sweet removal spell off the top and I kill your owlbear. Right. Yeah, that's true. Do I live your dream? dream? You get to draw three cards, you've got all your mana up, and you'll get to cast one of those things for free. Yeah. And I can swing it with the troubadour. And the troubadour, yeah. if you double block, I mean, I clear your entire board and you're just left with a 2-2 and then I play a cool creature afterwards. Yeah, I'll attack. I attack. And now... All right. I... Uh, right, so you attack. Yeah, and now, now we that get happens. The Before venture blocks. trigger. All right, let's see what happens first. Yeah. So we go to the Mad Lair Wizard, draw three cards, and reveal them. You may cast one of them without paying its mana cost. So we hit a Scaled Herbalist and okay. Forest <gasps> and a Fireball. We had a Fireball no. off the top. Oh, that's oh. so bad for me. Oh, that's so convenient. That's so bad. Uh, I so choose bad. to cast it without paying its mana cost, and I'm going to target your owl bear. Yeah. And let's roll the d20 right now. And I hit, I rolled a two, so we both take two damage. Yep. Oof. Never punished. Now, uh, yeah, good news. Well. Now that I've completed a dungeon, Nadar's um, static ability goes in, and other creatures I control get plus one, plus one. So this is now a five, three. So I'm attacking you for eight which is exactly lethal the goblin's gonna block the troubadour and mm. i take four all right i like all, all second of, all of surge's minions are like oh that was totally he intended that right like that's he didn't just you know throw us a, try to sacrifice us and then fluke out no no <laughs> no he intended mm -hmm. that he's yeah, a brilliant all, strategist yeah. uh, it's worth mentioning graham nadar is only other creatures so this is only a three three Oh, I only take three. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah, you only take three, not four. Uh, so I'm hmm. going to play a land. Yeah. Next. Uh, I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to cast this Prosperous Innkeeper. Think... So one, one, when it enters yeah. play, I make a treasure token. Right, I forgot about that. I think the turn that I misplayed probably punished me more than the turn that you misplayed. Hmm. Um, three mana, Magic Missile is going to blow up your Shesra. Uh, all three damage Oof. is going to be directed there. Oof. And then two mana, I'm going to cast this Scaled Herbalist. When another creature enters the battlefield, I gain a life. So I go up to 16. Yeah. And I pass the turn. 
Okay. Wait, wait, how did you gain? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everything is fine. All right. Neat. Uh, all right. Well, let's open with play this Sepulchre Ghoul. Mm. Uh, it's a 2 1, and I can sack a creature to it to give it plus 2 plus 2 until end of turn. I can do that at any time, but only once per turn. And you are very nearly tapped out. So I'm going to do this now rather than waiting for you to untap just in case. And I'm going to stare intently at Nadar with 11 eyes. 11 eyes. All right. Goodbye, Nadar. You've been 11 Get get that get that walking anthem off the table. Uh, that's that's me. That's I realized my whole turn. I was actually supposed to venture into the dungeon again at my end step because of wandering Troubadour because I had. Oh, yeah. Land. Go go for it. I mean, just go now, for it now. I guess now you know that you don't have Nadar anymore, but you know, yeah, wherever I, you're I was probably just going to do the Tomb of Annihilation, anyways. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And apply that pressure. So we're both going to lose one life. All right. Yes, indeedy. So the end of last turn, you lost one. Uh, uh, you, yeah, right. You each lost one life. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Untap. 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 Draw for the turn. Uh, what are your creatures currently, Graham? A 2-2 two, two, and a 2-1. A 2-2 two, two death touch with the... If it hits you, I'd venture in a 2-1 with the sacrifice thingy. I'm going to target your sacrifice thingy with this improvised weaponry. Uh, deal 2 damage to any creature. Get a treasure. Oh, wait. Any source. Uh, I could target you? And then I just... Yeah, yeah. No, I don't win if I do that, though. I have to target one of your blockers. Mm, wait. How does this work? pretty you good have... either way. Are you playing a land this turn? Because then have... it's pretty bad. You know what? Yeah, let me target, let me target you. Let me see what happens. I'm going to target right. you for two and make a treasure token. Go you talk, you talk me into it. You talk me out of killing your creature. Haha. -ha. So I now have uh, two treasure tokens, and yep. then I'm going to pay five mana and cast Albear Who Carger or whatever. Yep. Nice. Good. Land. There we go. Land off the top. Oh. Play my land for the turn. Uh, so, but now I can't attack with the Troubadour. Do, how many cards do you have in hand? A one. Okay. Right, because if the Troubadour ant dies... Then I don't venture into the dungeon. Before the end of the uh, turn, then you don't venture, yeah. So, I, yeah, I think, I think I'll pass, and we'll venture into the dungeon here, and I'll move down to the Wells Veils of Fear. Lose two yeah, life unless you discard a card. I choose well, not to discard to dis a card. I discard this green dragon that you knew about. Mm. Oh, um, I'm that also hurts. supposed to have gained one life from the Albear coming into play, so I'll only lose one oh, life yeah. instead of two. Uh, right, so I guess I'll just go back to 15 then, because I forgot to put you up to 16 for the... the well, I, I didn't announce the trigger, so you didn't forget. Yeah. It just turns out there's a lot going on over here. Well, I'll pass. I'm just going to untap... And uh, let's uh, see what's going on over here. Uh, uh, I mean, it's not nothing, but it's kind of bad still. I'm at two, and you have a 4-4 four, four with Trombompel, and I'm in the wrong part of the mine of Fandelver. Um, you are in the wrong part of this mine. It's true. All right, well, let's do... All right. Oh, you ripped gas off the top. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, let's see here. Um, if I... Oh, this works, actually. Ooh. This kind of actually barely works. Okay, I put, I'm going to put Precipitous Drop on your Owlbear. Okay, Owlbear. So it gets minus two, two, minus two. Yeah. Uh, and I venture I venture into the dungeon. Um, and I will go to the dark pool. So each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Mm. Then I will use the map to venture an additional time to the Temple of Dumathoin. And I draw a card. Oh, and you complete it, which means my owlbear is dead. Correct. 
<laughs> that was perfect timing for that fanfare. Uh, and there we go. That's right. that's the whole turn. Go ahead. Convoluted Untap. way of killing the owl bear, but it worked. Untapped. Yeah. Well, I was gonna. I I, I want to kill the troubadour, but uh, the owl bear is uh, the more direct threat to my to my life points. Mm. Ho ho ho! Uh, green dragon. Uh, that's also bad. Sorry, is that the sound that green dragons make? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think he was referencing the green, the jolly green giant. Uh, so any damage is lethal damage. I will swing out with my team. I'm attacking with a one three, a one one, a four two. Oh right, when the dragon comes into play, I gain a life. Oh yes, right. Uh, so I will. Yeah, I'll block the troubadour with the fang blade and the. Uh, oh, actually, wait. How big is the innkeeper? It's a one one. Innkeeper is a one one, but keep in mind, I have the green dragon, so any damage dealt is lethal damage. Not oh, quite right. death so touch, actually, but it does have the. Uh, there's actually the poisonous no. Yeah, breath. there's no way that I can. No way that I can keep the wanty fang blade alive. All right, uh, I'm blocking the troubadour and the innkeeper with these creatures. Okay, they're all gonna. It's it's trades all the way down. Yeah. And I take uh, one from the scaled herbalist. Yep, scaled herbalist gets in. Uh, and then we have right. a one, two, three, and sack both my treasure tokens here. Four. Wait a minute, what's this? Another owlbear. Oh my good grief. Draw a card and uh, pass the turn. I don't think I'm getting out of this one. That precipitous drop was a good draw, but I don't know what could possibly... Uh... Uh, ah, good, good, yes. Uh, check it out. All my skeletons have trample. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go to game two. <laughs> uh, uh, there was one game, my first game at, against Nelson mm -hmm. wow. at the actual PPR. I got to, I got to like, go off with skeletons. And oh that yeah, was that game was sweet. Yeah. So it turns out, Dude, turn... Serge, your, your, your deck is awesome. You're just well, going on so many dungeon, adventures. I... Like, it's tough, because, like, when you get Nalar or Nadar on turn three unanswered... Followed by the Troubadour. Yeah, like, I, I think that was kind of the dream curve, right? Yeah. And I picked the greediest possible dungeon as well. I wonder how different that game is if I just go straight for, like, choosing to ride the demon. How, uh, all you need is the, that... It would have um, been good, too. The one that, the person that Nelson has, had, that, that um, doubles the oh. dungeon... Hama, Hama Pashar. Mm. Yeah. Something that Anytime has been putting you, in yeah. work in this set is actually there's a white equipment that lets you venture on attack as well. Yeah. That thing. Delver Torch. Oof. That thing is amazing. Yeah, Del Delver's Torch is very, very good. The uh, Imagine putting Delver's Torch on Nadar. Right? Attacks as a 4 4 double venture. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it turns right. out dungeons I, are sweet. Dungeons are sweet. I would like to play uh, first this game, and Excellent. I'm just considering if I am keeping, excuse me, keeping this hand, uh, or if I'm going to be. I mean, it's interesting because the the effects on the dungeon are like relatively minor. Mm. Um, although the 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 mad mage ones, the 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 later you know casting a spell for free is nothing to scoff at. But yeah, if you can get all the way there, I mean, even the the one part way down where you get to. Um, or you get to reveal two cards and cast them. Like if you can, if you can venture on that turn in a way that doesn't cost you mana on that turn. Oh yeah, what kind of idiot would do that, game, right? Uh. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't meant to be a dig. I meant that, <laughs> like you know, if you can, uh, if if you can do that with a bunch of mana up, then that's also pretty sweet because it's basically just like drawing two cards, air quotes, for free. Luck, swamp right? gonna try it gonna try it. yes you too gonna try things differently lead with a swamp this time mm. that's that's gonna make all the difference i think yeah you know what yeah, yeah. we're gonna crack For this whole thing wide open forest leading with forest seemed to treat me pretty well last time so i'll i'll, I'll try the same thing all right fair enough yeah. good idea <laughs> you know stick with the strategy you know i'm gonna play a forest and a sepulcher ghoul mm. so go ahead
I'm going to play this Steadfast Paladin. Two mana, mm. two, two with lifelink. And say go. Nice. Um, oh, well, that actually changes what I want to do. Okay. Not what you did, What something I did. Uh, I'm actually going to get the map out there again. Mm. And pass it on back. Untap. Draw for the turn. I have perfect mana. Wow. The perfect mana. Amazing. I mean, I'm only in two colors, so I guess I had the perfect mana on turn two. <laughs> you're like, well, I had perfect mana first surge. It's less impressive when you're only running two colors. <laughs> uh, I also have this improvised weaponry, so I'm going to shoot your ghoul. Oof. Uh, and make yes. a treasure. Yep. And then I'm going to attack you for two, uh, making you go to 18 and making me go to 22. Yes, indeedy. I kind of wish the improvised and weaponry was, was just like a chair or something. <laughs> I would also like that. Um, I wonder what's better. Typically speaking, using all of your mana is better. So I think, I think that's what I will do. So I will use all of my mana uh, for skeletal swarming. Oh God, yep, that's very good. That's so yes. good. Mm. So each skeleton you control has trample. Obviously, I have no skeletons at the beginning of your end step. Create a tapped skeleton. If a creature died this turn, you create two skeletons instead. So I move to my end step, and I have this sleeping skeleton. Go ahead. Uh, just really quickly checking my sideboard for disenchant effects here. <laughs> I don't have any. This is awkward. Uh, yikes. Okay. Okay. I envision that Draw. it comes in tapped because, you know, in video games, when, like, the skeleton is about to get up, it, like, the, the bones kind of, like, oh, shake yeah. for a bit. Mm. Yep. That's yep. what's yeah. happening right now. It's going to, like... Yeah. So it's going to attack as a 1 1, and it must attack. Yes. But then, it if must. and or when I block, then you'll have two. But you get one each turn? Yeah. Wow. This is actually better than I thought. <laughs> the skeleton card? Yeah. I it's mean, absurd. I knew it was good. I knew it was good. I didn't. I, I'm. I'm reading it now and i'm just the like the play thing that you described is like it has to attack so you can just block it but then if that happens i get two of them and it's like oh oh i see i see <laughs> next turn you get two anyways okay i'm gonna attack you for two with lifelink yeah that's reasonable so 16 to 24 then I'm going to play a land for the turn, and then I'm going to cast this Hobgoblin Captain, mm. which is a 2 mana 3 1 with pack tactics. If I attack with power 6 or more, it has first strike. Nice. And I'm going to pass. Okay. So these skeletons are rarely untapped because they have to slam every turn. <laughs> Uh, and they so enter tapped, that. so yeah, it's very rare for them to be a blocker. So I'll go down to 23. Yeah. All right. I love you're just, like, obviously not blocking. Um, I'm going to play... Bird, 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 bear. Owl bear. Okay. And okay. draw a card. And move to my end step. Skeleton. Oh, one. Okay, now you're attacking for four. Four is scarier. Um... Untap, untap, draw for the turn. Question about the specific wording on the skeleton Skeletal swarming. swarming. It's only yes. on your turn, right? No. So, so each skeleton you control has trample, mm -hmm. attacks each combat if able, and gets plus X plus O, where X is the number of other skeletons you control. That That's always true. It's not an attacks trigger. At the but beginning you only of your get skeletons yes. okay. on my end step. So if I yes. kill if I kill Sorry. a creature if I kill your owlbear, do you get a skeleton? The answer is no? No. The answer okay. is no. Great. I kill your owlbear with this fireball. <laughs> yep. Fair. Oh, all right. I thought that was D20? more of like an academic discussion. Ooh. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Bear, 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 bear. I take two. And then uh, I, guess I just do two damage five. to you instead of two damage yep. to both of us. Yep, I took it. Uh, right. Then I'm going to attack right. you for five and gain two life. This is one of the few ones that a natural 20 doesn't actually give you anything cool, though. Anything cooler? Yeah. That's yeah. probably okay. 
Go ahead. I, I kind of wish there was a crit fail condition on all these cards. It'd, be, it'd feel <laughs> profoundly be, bad, yeah. but like if you roll a one, yeah. only you take two damage. I still yeah, think you'd be happy to deal five damage to a creature or planeswalker and take two. There's only one or two of the roll cards that actually have fail conditions. Uh, so we're going to move to attacks because we must. So mm -hmm. attack you for four. I go to 21. Um, and then we're going to put a precipitous drop on your lifelinker. Goodbye. And we go venturing. And we will venture into... Uh, we'll venture into the Lost Mine of Fandelver, I think. Mm. So I'm going to scry. Oh, no. Sure, that's fine. Uh, all right. So I'm out of skeleton tokens, because my third skeleton token is the back of the Lost Mine of Fandelver. So... <laughs> Um, I have do it. We'll do it the old, the old fashioned way. I have yeah. three skeletons. So you're attacking me for six next turn because it's only other mm. attacking ones. So each one's attacked. Wait, no, each one nine. attacks is a three one. It's... I'm taking nine. Yes. Jeez. Okay. Go ahead. That's not exponential oh, doubling. Is that? I'm trying to Sorry, figure out how not that go ahead. works. Yeah. Pardon me. Um, I was like. I have nothing else to do with my mana, so I really should be doing this, because this is what I... That was the whole point of venturing into that dungeon in particular. Mm. Dungeon map, I venture uh, to the goblin lair. So I have a 1-1. One -one. So I can block that 3-1, potentially. Oh, you're also using your mana. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. Yeah, I was like, wait, I have a dungeon map and 3 open mana. What am I doing with my life? So, yes. Sorry. And then, end step, I get the third skeleton. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. It Sorry, I, like to um, imagine I have improvised you... weaponry for your 1-1. One, one. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Pop, what was that? I, like the, I think you just like walk through the goblin lair and then you suddenly have a goblin like following you. You're like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, oh, what? what you... Oh, Hi. okay, I guess you're... Yeah. Are okay. you lost? Okay, I mean, sure. Yep, come on. Yeah. Which creature died? Oh, yeah. I killed your... I killed your tutu. It's any creature, not just my, not just your creatures. Yep. If a creature died this turn. Oh, I'm gonna take a ton of good, damage next turn. This is scary. Good, good catch, James. Thank you. All right, uh, I attack you for three. Yes, I go to six. How much? How much dead am I? How much is four attacking for? Twelve. Sixteen. Sixteen. Well, because it's one, and then there's three others. So each skeleton gets plus three plus zero. Oh. So there's four four power skeletons. One three, math is for nine, everyone, 16. as it turns out. Um, I have chosen to ignore it this entire time, and I will continue to ignore it by casting this veteran dungeoneer, sacking one right. treasure token. Uh, I'm going to go into the tomb of annihilation and deal oh, one boy. damage to both of us. Oh boy! Yeah. Whoops. Hit that thing. You're at five. I'm at twenty. Pass. Yep. All right. I I like Graham as 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 is like the newbie uh, necromancer who's just like, wow, skeletons are really good. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> These things are so handy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Have you all heard of skeletons? Um. Why have I been summoning all these other things all these years? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, let's move to that combat step that we're obliged to take. And I attack with four four power skeletons with Trample. How many cards do you have in hand right now? Three. You said three? Three. So the chances of this Tomb of Annihilation dealing two to you next turn, probably not that great, is what you're trying to say. Slim. Pretty teeny tiny. Mm. I, I guess I'm taking 16. <laughs> <laughs> I go to four. Alrighty. Um, 
well, now how do I want to do this? Oh, boy. How many cards do you have in hand? One. One. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Gosh, I truly don't know what is the better move here. It's. I think it's all going to be down to what you draw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm looking um, at my graveyard. I've already used two improvised weapon rings and one fireball, and I. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, what do I have left? Because the safest, I think my safest play is actually to dump out my hand mm. which then means i have to take two if you manage to venture but you don't necessarily you aren't necessarily going to venture correct i don't have a guaranteed venture way on board as is right right well let's give it a shot then um i'm gonna play a forest play this knoll hunter as mm. a potential blocker and then i'm gonna tap the rest of my mana to give your three four minus eleven minus eleven okay all right, so heart of the cards. My end, move to my end step, and I get two more skeletons. Go ahead, I have yeah, no cards in hand. It wasn't already dead enough, yeah. <laughs> All right, deck. All right, heart of cards. What are my outs? I think if I have... I, I don't even know like if I have a second that. fireball. Fireball is just GG. Uh, yes, that's true. You know what isn't GG? What? This basic mountain that I ripped off the top Montana. when I had a forest in hand. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to game three. <laughs> All right. Holy moly. We're going to game okay. three. Continuing the trend from the actual PPR of the games all going to three. Yeah. Well, at least at least we got at least we got you know like the value there. Like we were worried, um, uh, you know, like looking. Uh, uh, uh sort of uh behind the you know like behind the curtain we were like okay we're we're gonna do four rounds what if that goes really fast right like what if it's just you know two oh two oh two oh you know just just like really quick because we don't know the format we never played yeah. it before what if it's a really fast format right uh that ended up not being the case mm. but i don't think we've ever had a ppr go under time yet <laughs> Everybody was like, yeah. that was a fast PPR. <laughs> yeah, we've had PPRs that were shorter than others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we rarely we we rarely have like a, an explicit time in mind. It's more just sort of like when James has made the dinner reservation. Yeah, which we have definitely missed on a couple of occasions. I know we're gonna have. Well, we've also haven't had haven't had them for like you know a year and a half, but hopefully soon. Hmm. All right, so I, I I assume I'm making a you know flagrant assumptions here, Serge, that you're going to want to be on the play. Oh, absolutely. All right. I think I think my my deck definitely benefits from being able to have that first foot in the dungeon. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> not not no not a foot in the door. I just need that foot in the dungeon. Yeah. I have. Oh, you hate to see it. One second. Oh, I didn't even consider sideboarding because I probably should have taken that card out, but that's fine. I have a seven. I have I have a seven that is three green cards, two white cards, and two red lands. <laughs> that's not gonna say, be I'm perfect gonna go on turn three. I was just say that's a keep. Yeah. Uh, no. no. Check out this awesome keep I have. Yeah. Oh, and two of my green cards were owl bears, so uh requiring <laughs> green green each. Oof. Yeah. We're gonna file I, that one under uh how about no okay i was just thinking you know there's the there's the dungeon room that's like target creature can't attack until next turn or whatever right one of the mad mage ones yeah one of the uh the uh the no caverns. not the lost yeah 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 how how about a a dungeon where the end of the dungeon is like an o-ring effect like the creature is exiled like you mm, exile target okay. creature until right. 
the opponent also gets through that dungeon. Like the, the oh, opponent has to, to like rescue, rescue them. their creature from the dungeon. <laughs> oh, That's I love amazing. that, Paul. All what right, I'm going to keep this six. Brief, right. brief D and D aside, Paul. You and I, I think it was. We were playing amongst some other people. We're playing in a in a a campaign with Jer. I think actually we were part of the official playtest for fifth edition. I think right, is when what it was. This was. D &D he, next. He, yeah, and he'd ported forward an old uh an old campaign that had these like twisting branching caverns. Right. And we we went like we went to a fork and then we were like, okay, we keep left and we went to another fork and we keep left and we went to another fork and it just sort of kept going. And we were like five or six in and we were like, actually F this. And we turned around and went back out and we were able to figure out how to get back out because we knew the the ones we take on the way in and he told us afterwards he's like it's a good thing you did that because literally the instructions in the in the campaign are like if they don't like if they keep going after like x number of intersections the party is lost forever yeah the the the, the like the map, <laughs> it's just like the map in the book is like shows a picture of like passage 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 dot 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 like it doesn't even bother oh, showing the whole yeah. maze uh yeah also we had uh, James and I were both playing dwarves that have um, uh, the at least at the time rocks, they had the, the like rock, rock sense. sense, so they they always know yeah. where they are underground. So I mm. think that that's actually mo that was how we got out. Saved us, yeah, 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 yeah. What Neat. a what a silly thing! Just like Neat. oh, if you go too far, you're just you just lost. What like we don't get to like make a save or like try to find our way back out? No, no. Nope. I mean that's that's very old D and D. It's just like you're dead. It really is right. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Forest, huh? I All mean, right. I well, like, I do like I, those campaigns, though. Of you have to think laterally; they're not going to give it mm -hmm. to you. You have to be like a, a clue. I have a forest in hand, but the swamp worked so well for me last time that I'm going to lead with the swamp. So go ahead. I got to go with old trusty here. Look, it's like rock, yeah, paper, no, scissor. I just throw rock every time and expect you know the results mm -hmm. to never change. <laughs> yeah, fair. And speaking of results that uh, probably won't change, uh, the hobgoblin is back. Hobgoblin nice. captain. Go ahead. Hooray. All it knows is fighting, um, Graham. I have a knoll hunter. Or as I kept calling it, a gnoll hunter on purpose to the point that someone was like, Graham, do you know how to pronounce that word? And I was like, yes, I do. I'm just well, doing it badly on purpose. Although Go I ahead. put it to you that you actually uh, sub start doing it subconsciously. In the sense oh, yeah. that it's like, yes, you oh, do know yeah. that it, the G is not supposed to be pronounced, but you're not actively yes. doing it to make a joke. You're just... No, I'm yeah. just doing it. It's like that's how, how I would do pronounce it. it Menace. It's like, yes, yes, we know. I assure you, we know. Uh, yeah. I have perfect mana. Very nice. No, and, what? Stop. Oh, no. And I have this steadfast paladin. <clears throat> All right. Lucky to have drawn a creature. Wanty Fangblade. Mm. Is, is Noel a new creature type? I think so. I don't think there have been Noles in magic before same with tiefling and maybe some others have we had gnomes before i mean there's bottle, halfling but there's bottle gnomes there oh, are yeah, some right. old we, i think we, there we, are some old gnomes. old cards that references gnomes we've had gnomes i was I, surprised to discover uh the purple worm w-o-r-m that there are actually there's the with with that one there are nine worms Oh, but not worms magic. with the U. Are there any worms not, with a Y yeah. out of curiosity? Because that's a spelling, isn't I, it? W-Y-R-M? Did I make that worm. up? No, yeah. I, I think that I I don't think there's any magic, but I yeah, that's a real, that's the, a thing. I think there might be cards named that, but they're considered dragons. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Anywho, four mana. Speaking of dragons, Wandering Troubadour Veteran, oh. is here to party. Oh, I'm here right. to sing you a song. Uh, I'm going to pass. I have wandered into the dungeon, and you know, just to do something completely different this time. Mm -hmm. uh, let's let's go hang out in the lost mine of Fandelver. I definitely thought you were going to say just do something totally different. Tomb of Annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, I'll scry to the bottom and pass. All right. Dragon Bard, um, spitting hot fire. Mm. Yeah. 
That's, that's cool. All right, I'll play a s swamp. No, forest. The the one that I actually played. I'll play a forest, and I will tap three, and I will find the path. Oh, okay. I was forest. like, so it, I thought you were gonna doom or whatever. Minus two, minus two. My troubadour was getting ready to kill it. Oh, that would have been real nice. Uh, but I I go venturing as well. Mm. Gosh, where do I want to go? <laughs> Look, it's been so long. You can vacation anywhere now, all right? Options. Yeah. Um. Ah, let's let's try to let's try to live big. I'm gonna go to the dungeon of the mad mage. Oh my goodness, you mad lad! Into the yawning portal, I gain one life. <sighs> the first time in this match I have ever been over twenty. Go ahead. Welcome to the portal. Uh, uh, come on in. Uh, have a nap and then continue on. Yeah, that's before you actually. Camp. That's before you get to the dungeon level. Yeah, exactly. I attack. Two two lifelink. Uh, yes, I accept. All I right. Nineteen. You go to twenty-two. Land. Uh huh. Pass. I will venture down. Yep. Adventure down because of the wandering troubadour to the goblin lair, and mm. I have found a friend. Hello. They are a goblin. What do goblins look like? Do you not have any of the goblin tokens? It's on the back of the... Do you have... I might actually. Hold on. Goblin It's tokens. on the back of the other dungeon, remember? The other they do it so that dungeon. you don't... <gasps> yeah, it's on the back of Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Oh, I, I assume they were on the back of their own... No, that would be one. silly. Mm. They thought about it. The Atropol is on the back of Tomb of Annihilation because you only need that when the tomb is when the dungeon's complete yeah 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 i have a goblin All right it's very cool. shiny i have untapped because you said that was the end of your turn yep 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 okay i'm gonna draw a swamp well we are entering race conditions now owlbear no play. no skeletons no skeletons, skeletons. Mm. why skeletons uh pass and pass well, I'm not going to attack with my Monty Fangblade. You have things. You would have had two skeletons if you threw it away. Same. I don't think you would have blocked. Maybe you wouldn't have blocked. Maybe well, you if blocked? you had sequenced you... in such a way that you attacked it, I would have blocked And if you played skeletons after. It's like, yeah, I didn't think about that. Venturing into the dungeon is scary. Yeah, but I mean, your only blocker that kills it is your thing that ventures. So I, that's why I just assumed you weren't going to block with it. Hmm. Maybe I'm, mm. may, again, maybe I'm wrong. We'll never know now. We'll never know. Quick, get the time machine. It's a good use for a time machine, right? Land. Yeah. Ho, 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 green giant. Or green dragon. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> ho, ho, green, green dragon. Good. Uh, my whole team has uh, death touch. Yeah. Or quasi death, death touch. Death touch yeah. De death <laughs> delayed breath. death touch my whole yeah. team has bad breath they make blocking extremely unpleasant mm -hmm. and i will attack you for three i will take three all right i will gain two and you gain two i i feel like the the green dragon is just it like sprays poison over everybody and everyone's like ah no wait we're okay as long as nobody has any like open wounds we're fine <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna head to my end step here and i'm yeah. gonna go to the storeroom and put a plus one plus one counter on target creature i'm gonna give it to my green giant dragon dragon it's a green dragon <laughs> all right pass all right untap draw still 16 god i wish you were so much closer to dead <laughs> i know i i mean i i, I get it um, I'm going to cast that card that I was temporarily afraid that I wouldn't actually, uh, have a target for, forgetting that you have, uh, the green dragon. I plummet your ho-ho-ho. Mm. I think that's literally the only flyer in my deck. And that's why you yeah, don't. Yeah, I forgot that you had it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Never a sideboard. Never punished. Um, and hmm. I put a plus one plus one counter on it. Surge is sad. I was I was like quietly fist pumping. Just You're like, like just... dragon, plus one and, plus one counter. And it's like air horns. From a flavor perspective, <laughs> yeah. it is actually a green dragon that's being killed in the picture for plummet. Oh wow, it is too. Oh wow. All right, well, flavor win, too. Nice. Um, I'm going to fight you. I'm obliged to attack with the skeleton, and I'm also going to attack with this Wanty Fangblade. Now you, now you can make that choice. The skeleton has to attack, but the Fangblade wants to attack. The Fangblade just got caught up in the moment. We're like, oh, are we attacking? Okay, great, let's go. Cards in hand? Three. Uh, no blocks I'll take. Where? Well, hold on, if I block... So I'm never incentivized to block the first skeleton. Because the first no. skeleton gives you two skeletons. You'll have two skeletons... Wait, you have two skeletons either way at the end of this turn. Yes. So it's literally worth it for me to block the first skeleton. Because you, you end up with two skeletons next turn either way. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I block the skeleton. Yes. It's just a 1-1. One, one. Alright. Yeah, the skeleton dies. Yeah, uh, it's going to be interesting two... learning the play pattern around that that skeleton spawning, right? Yeah, so you take two and I venture to yeah. the dungeon level where I scry. The skeleton swarming also, I... uh, isn't non-token, right? So like another skeleton dying counts as a thing. It doesn't matter if it's a skeleton that dies. It's just anything that dies. Right. Um, but it is, yeah, it's any skeletons. Also, I made a mistake, but that's okay. Um, that's the end of my turn. Skeletons. And you bought them? Yeah, I, yeah, I bought them, but I also made a mistake, but that's fine. Probably. Probably. And the skeletons <laughs> Let's find out together. trample. And these skeletons have trample? Yeah, yes. Yeah, weirdly. <laughs> I think it's just because there's a lot of them. Yeah, land. Uh, declare attacks? Yeah. Uh, I, I swing in for six. Yep. And you gain two. I would like to go to my end step. Yes. I had to land into the battlefield. I will be venturing into the final room of the Lost Mines of Fandelver. Ooh. I'll draw a card and then the I'll temple, it. The Temple of Doomathorn. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. And uh, yeah, right. say go. Alrighty. Uh, ooh. Um, yeah. Yes. All right. Combat. See, now there's two skeletons. So now the Wanty Fangblade just feels tremendous peer pressure. So everything's in. So if I chump block the Wanty Fangblade, you get two more skeletons. If I don't, you get to move to the next room. And the next room gives you the option of a treasure token or target creature can't attack. Is that correct? Correct. Um, I'll I'll chump block the 2-2, two because -two, I think if we're going to race here, I need to be able to swing with this 4-2. So I take right. 4, go to 20? Yes. Yep. Um, then, uh, I'm going to put Precipitous Drop no. on your 4-2. No! And I venture into the Twisted Caverns and ask your 2-2 two -two lifelink to not attack, please. No! <laughs> Things are looking bad. Things are looking very bad. End step. Skellingtons. Go yeah. ahead. I think I'm dead. It's interesting. Attacking for 16 with Trample next turn. It's interesting the way that the Skeletons having one toughness sort of works in their favor. Because you don't... Because the, yeah. the Skeletons dying is actually not that bad for Grim. I desperately yeah. needed to rip, like, magic missile off the top there so I could shoot oh. three skeletons and kind of magic reset. Magic missile would be sick. Yeah. Uh, I do have this impro improvised weaponry that I'll use to kill your, your death toucher. Yeah. Wait, does that is that even a good call? Maybe a skeleton. I think a skeleton actually takes more damage off the board. Because you're attacking for yeah, 16. Yeah, because it takes... 
taking off a skeleton takes its four power and also one power from each of the other skeletons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shoot and skeleton, and I make a treasure token. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, that works out well, actually. I will uh, pass to you. All right. Do you have any incidental skeletons in your deck, like actual skeleton cards? <laughs> Sorry, it's the phrase incidental skeleton. I think he has a skeleton lord as well, Paul. Uh, oh, I do. Uh, yeah, I have the Death Priest of Miracle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, forgot yeah. about that guy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Well, I haven't drawn him. I, yeah. You know, oh, that plummet, you, Graham. You, that plummet. You'd know all about it. Oh, the plummet was tech. And I was here I was complaining about drawing it in my opening hand. I was like, oh, I should have boarded this out. Surge doesn't have any flyers. Like a like a chump. I'm going to play this bear pre-combat and draw mm. a card. Pre-combat bear. Oh, that thing too. Jeegus. Um, uh -huh. Just re remembering other cards that are in my deck. All right. We're going to move to Slambos. Come on in Slambo. Oh, this is the worst. Yeah. I mean, I'll trade with your, your Death Toucher. No, I'm... no. Don't look at your cards like you're going to do something. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Are you going to turn it into a... No. Into an elephant? Fine, I kill it in response. Fair. It All didn't right. have to be Reasonable. like this, but I, I, I refuse. I refuse. Yeah. Reason Fair enough. All right. Fair I'm enough. Roll the d20 here, and uh, I, I crit fail again. Wow! I went from a natural twenty to a natural one, and so, so we, we both, both take, take two. two from the fireball, and then you take nine from skeletons. I go to nine. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to skeleton your owl. I wanted to fireball your owl bear, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I can't lose no. my blocker and let you venture into the dungeon. Fair enough. Uh, then pass the turn. Get two more skeleton ones. All right. And part of the cards? Not particularly. You're attacking me for how much? Uh. Well, the owl bear <laughs> is four, and the skeletons have a combined total of. 25? 1, 3, right? 9, 6, Because there's 5 of them? Is that... Is that Fibonacci? I'm trying to think about that that particular it's, No, Fibonacci pattern. is... Fibonacci is like 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. It's, it's you add the, most, the one prior to the Oh, right, okay, one, okay. And you it's get just the... the this, it's yeah. squares. Oh? 16, uh -huh. 25, 36. Oh! That, I, I knew I recognized the pattern. I knew I recognized the pattern. Thank you, Paul. Pass. Is it a trick? It's a it's a static ability for their power, right? Yes. Mm. Uh, Paul, that anecdote that I told earlier about the the that D and D campaign. Do you remember another thing that we encountered during that D and D adventure we were oh, testing? Is this going to be a setup for something you're going to kill me with? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it I, feels I mean, like I, I, it's I, re I remember pretty bad on board, but some other things, but. Uh... I don't know. We'll see. It's the frog hemoth. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Which I'm already dead. Has, haste and for trample. For some reason, has haste. Yeah. Your whole um, team has trample. All right. Well, with all of, all I think this they, is a steadfast paladin. This ain't no coward. So of course they have to go down swinging, right? All right. So I've got yep. this hunter's mark. Uh, okay. So what happens nice. here? They're being overwhelmed. The skeleton arm is coming. They bravely punch one skeleton to death nice. so and it becomes three a three through with that. lifelink i go to 12 Oops. and then All it's right. just like get behind me and goes to block i don't know the frog hemoth or something like that while uh, everyone else in the party runs away and the steadfast paladin you know goes down for the team and we die but we die yeah <laughs> But in a noble oh, fashion. Man. But in a no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heroically. Yeah. Don't you feel yeah. bad, Graham? Graham, Hell the yeah, necromancer Steffi. Stark killing. <laughs> I do. That's the character I played in that one shot. Was that <laughs> was that steadfast paladin? <laughs> it hurts. But game, on friend. some other level, it was fun. Thank you for the games. Heck yeah. Oh my goodness. Did you uh, did you know two other mythics I had in my deck that we never got to see at all? Oh yeah, you have two planeswalkers. Yeah, in that deck, don't we never you? got to see them at all. I got. Oh uh, no. I had the the venture planeswalker Ellie Wick, and I also had the demonic planeswalker Zariel. 
Mm. And not even once in our games did I get to see them. But that's fine. That's fine. That's magic oh. sometimes, eh? That is that Ellie, that is magic indeed. Ellie Wick and Zario were just like hanging out, you know, back at the pub. Be like, oh wait, we're supposed to be at the, the fight now. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, we're late. And they show up and the steadfast paladin has like 17 arrows, just like dead and they're like, like all right you don't both, tell anyone i won't tell like, anyone yeah uh we're just gonna go back to the pub yeah yeah ellie works like I'll, I'll write a song about them it'll totally make up for their heroic yeah, uh, their heroic yeah. sacrifice yeah what what rhymes with uh attacked by skeletons yeah <laughs> i have to work on that one a little bit well hey there we go yeah thanks uh thanks everybody for watching Thanks to yeah. uh, Graham and Serge, and uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, bonus episode. There's uh, going to be a couple more up on our YouTube channels, so check it out. And of course, mm -hmm. you can check out the entire pre-pre-release also up on our YouTube channel. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye! Bye!